Howdy Arctic Aliens and welcome! I am Paul Yateman. I draw stuff. Sometimes drawing stuff leads to making stuff. Recently I designed and published some low content books on the Amazon KDP print on demand platform. So far I have sold a grand total of two books. Looks like Get Rich Scheme 45698 is off to a slow start. I was waiting until I had enough books published to qualify for reduced shipping as the books would need to be printed in and then delivered from the US. Mid last week Amazon brought online an Australian printer making printing and delivery far quicker and presumably cheaper. That was on the 19th of May. I ordered two copies of each of my seven books and they arrived three days later on the 22nd. Pretty darn speedy. Today I am going to unbox them and do a quick little review. If you'd like a detailed video on a specific book or my design, upload and publishing process, let me know in the comments. I have provided a link to my Amazon KDP author page for those interested in checking these books out some more. Uh, a few weeks ago I created these chess icons in Illustrator and I wanted a way to use them. So. I put them as a cover of a Chess Moves record book. The very first book I ever published on Amazon KDP was this Easter colouring book. So we'll review that in a sec. As part of my Chris Foss challenge, there's a whole bunch of spaceships. There's some of those in here, and there's also a bunch of historical spacecraft I've drawn, some redrawn, some not. Uh, earlier this year, I did a HR Giga challenge. Quite a few of those show up in this book and others as well. Um, I imagine we'll split these up so we can see both. Um, I play guitar, I play bass, or at least I try to. Sheet music is useful, so this was created both for me as well as for the general public. So I can record or note down things I create in both the bass and the guitar book. Uh, there's a picture of my Squire Precision Bass and a picture of my Court um, SG knockoff, I'm pretty sure it is. These are both matte, which you can tell because the, f the glossy ones, we can see my ring light, whereas matte, we can't. Um, I'm actually a fan more of the, the glossy cover than the matte cover. These have this weird draggy feeling, but that's probably personal preference. Um, yeah, so because these are both music, I've themed them in case I do more books like that. And then the most recent one I created was this blank comic book spread. You might recognise that from a previous YouTube video. Here's a really old cartoon I drew. Um, yeah, so next up, let's just quick give a quick rundown of what is in all of these. So back to the Chess Moves record book. Uh, before I created this one, I looked at existing books on the market, which allowed me to develop the contents, which isn't exactly the same as any other book, because that would be ripping somebody else off. Uh, so I've designed it based on what I've seen. Uh, your typical chess game takes about 40 moves, which is up to here. They can take maybe 90 or so. Very unlikely they'll get that far, so... That's why I gave a lot more than you might need per page. Very useful, 100 of them. So people like chess would possibly get a kick out of that. Uh, the early Easter coloring book, most of this stuff I drew in Illustrator. Here's some examples. That was what I thought was the weakest design put on the back just to show it can be colored in effectively. Um, so it being the very first one, some of the line weights are what I would call a bit inconsistent. But still, it's, some of these pages are good. I'm sure children would find all of them quite useful to colour in. Uh, I did do a video on this, so I'll just flip through pretty fast to show what's in here. So most of these come out okay. They print pretty well. Um... The very last picture is this one. If I was going to do this again, I would reduce the stroke on these three rabbits because they look a bit thick to me here. But besides that, yeah, that's my very first one. And hopefully, moving on to the second one, there were improvements. 
So this is 30 themed spacecraft for you to color. Some examples on the back. I did do a video on this specifically as well, so a quick flick through. Maybe make the line weight thicker on that. Um, these ones here, you will see there's a bit of a consistency with the drawing. That's because uh, I went through some historical drawings, redrew them on tracing paper, and used uh, like a 0.5 and 0.8 for all of this, and then a thicker um, marker for the outlines to give them a consistent look. That I'd probably redraw because I think the lines are a bit iffy. As in that goes backwards and these go that way, which makes this look flat or weird. But shade it the right way and it should look fine. That would maybe make a bit more domed, but again, shading would probably show that because the original drawing does have shade. shading. This doesn't. My Mars Rover. There's a good couple of series of videos I've got on my channel about this one, both grayscale and red. So check those out, or check that video out. An early spacecraft I drew. Stay in focus, camera. This one arose from my thumbnail video of how to produce spacecraft. So, should check that out. We've got the cover art next. So, that versus that. Uh, this one here. One of my Chris Foss challenge dudes. And quick flip through to the end. Shampoo bottle. Drawing another shampoo bottle spaceship. Uh, asteroid miner. Some doodle art. Here and here, and I think that's it. Yep, and a swatch page, not that you really need it because you can tell the, the paper doesn't bear being drawn on with marker. Okay, so this one, I've called this Biomechanical Style Inking and Colouring Book because lots of shading in these drawings, so to make it easier to colour, I faded them all, so whoever colours them in can also do line art as well or line weights so that's why they're all like faded so the potential purchaser can re-ink them so quick flick through Perchicon Figury stuff I also titled all these drawings so you're like Perchicon 2 and that's this my praying mantis, my skeleton, my milking machine. So yeah, a nice enjoyable book to ink and colour. So with the bass and the guitar, not much really talk about these ones, besides a consistent branding approach with the design and the text, and also on the back, so you can see what's in them. And quick flick through, we've got the base, which should be your base staff spots for doing the chords, title tempo tuning. So it could be either your own music or stuff you're trying to learn. Same goes for the guitar. So we've got our guitar staff, we've got spots for chords, title tempo tempo tuning, and plenty of and plenty of pages. Um, page wise, I think I went 80 for these. I'm not Sure. But anyway, check out the link to my Amazon artist, sorry, my Amazon author page. Find the books and I'll tell you how many pages they are. And finally, this blank comic book spread. Uh, here's the 10 spreads. Flipping and rotating some of these makes over 14. I gave it some like nice colourful comic um, colours. This actually reminds me of, um, can't recall what the art's called. But it's like the design look used on their um, gloves and stuff years ago. But anyway, my artwork on the front, fonts to emulate comic styles. And then when we look on the inside, we've got a whole bunch of different panels which I randomly arranged. If I was going to do this again, I would mirror whatever we see on this page, on this page here, just so you can't see what's under the next page. 
But besides that, that one came out okay, and I should probably use that as well. So, these two are specifically for music. I don't play much chess, but I could find that is useful. But what I will do at some point is fill in a few pages of this and do a video on it, as well as do examples of colouring in these as well, just for future videos, maybe next week, maybe in a year, who knows. So yeah, that was my unboxing and quick review of self-published Amazon KDP books. If you found this interesting, informative, entertaining, you were inspired to draw in your own sketchbook, or in this case, publish your own book, subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, you've been watching Creating Stuff by Drawing Stuff with me, Paul Yateman. Ciao, take care, and happy drawing.